just this honor to see. I mean, you know, you know, Chris Redmond, Dave Ragone, some of the all-time uh -huh. greats. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's it's unbelievable. I mean, just extremely blessed and thankful. Um, couldn't couldn't ask to be with a better group of guys like the guys you just mentioned. I mean, close friends of mine, and then watching them play and and just hoping for my opportunity one day, and uh, and it came and. And the goal was to make the most of it, and um, and here we are. So it's extremely blessed and thankful that, that they would even consider me for this. When that call comes, what what kind of things come into your mind? What do you think about? One, are you for real? Is this a joke, or is this for real? And, and um, yeah, and then you just think back to memories of, of, of all the plays on the field and, and the times you hang out with with, you know, with with your teammates in the locker room or on the bus. Um, a lot of things start coming back, and there's so many to to, to mention, but. Um, a lot of a lot of great great memories. Um, the coaches, too many to too many to name. Did you find out? Rocco gave me a call and, and uh, told me. You know. Pretty good weekend for you. <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Last night was um, was obviously the most important thing on my mind, and, and uh, to get that win was great. And now we get we get to enjoy today. Is this one of those times where you might stop and think, man, you know? I was a high school kid sending out videotapes. None of this might have happened if one coach or whatever hadn't, that's right. hadn't picked it up. But yeah. At, you know, now as a high school coach myself, I, I kind of see how the recruiting process works and, and I think back. And it's different now, but, um, you know, you, you like to think that your coach would help you <laughs> back in the day. And I don't know if that really happened. And so for me to have to take it upon myself, my brother and my dad helped me. And, Sending out tapes, people ask me all the time, "What was it like for you? What was the recruiting process like for you?" I said, "It, it wasn't. You know, it's not like what you have today." And and uh, just sending tapes out, and I think back to the schools I sent them to. You know, from Hawaii to East Carolina and Rice and Memphis and Louisville. Luckily, Louisville picked up on it and uh, really picked up on it to help me get to another school. And, and then something opened up here and and uh, got me here. And, and and I knew it wasn't going to be easy getting here and not just settling on, on getting here, but, but to work hard and, and um, when that opportunity came to make the most of it. So it's, uh, I guess it's a cool story. I'm, I'm glad it worked out for me. Is this Miami game, is that I mean, one that sticks oh, that, with you yeah. when you think about yeah. a lot? Yeah, that one. That, that's the one that most people, that one in the Boise State game and the Liberty Bowl are the two. And it's funny, we lost the Miami game. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, to go down there, we, we had a good football team and we had some good players and we knew we could go and play with anyone that year. And, and um, Unfortunately, we came up short, but yeah, I mean, that, that game opened a lot of people's eyes on a Thursday night. We lost the game, we go up in the rankings the following week, I mean, that didn't happen a whole lot, but um, yeah, that one comes up a lot. Stephon, what do you remember about that? You were MVP in that Liberty Bowl, uh, and they had a big linebacker, I think, chased you around, and you escaped. You know, what, what do you remember about that game? I think it was 44 to 40, yeah, yeah. a lot of scoring. Out, yeah, we were down at half, I, I do know that, I do remember. You know, the bad plays kind of stick out more, right? Not the touchdowns, but I threw that pick six, that going down into the goal line. I threw a pick. I didn't see the guy. And I should have made the tackle, and I think they held me, but they didn't, I didn't get the call. But, uh, <laughs> pick six. and, and uh, but, but I just – something about that game where we didn't get rattled. We felt like we were still in control, even though we were down at halftime. But the ensuing kickoff, I don't know if it was a touchback, and then we ran a reverse to, to Harry Douglas, and he scored from 80 out. And um, – Got us back going again, and I, I just—it was just one of those games where offensively we knew we had to score every possession. That they had a great offense themselves, and, and uh, it was going to come down to who had the ball last. And, and that's that's how really we approached every game. And um, it was a fun game. I mean, it was a great way to go out. Was it your favorite game as a Louisville player? Uh, that's up there. I, you know, going to Memphis that year uh, was a, another back and forth game. As D'Angelo Williams was running all over the place, and we had to score there at the end to win. And that was a, that's a that's one that sticks out. Um, Miami, um, Kentucky always, you know, beating Kentucky was great both years there. Uh, and then um, I would say my junior year, the game at Cincinnati, snowing the day after Thanksgiving and, and uh, long touchdown run and, a, and a, a pass to Gerald Russell to win it at the end was was, was fun. That Those are those are some of the ones that, that I remember the most. Have you ever thought about how coming to Louisville kind of impacted your life? Now you wouldn't have this coaching job that you have now probably. You got to move to Louisville before college. Yeah, yeah, Louisville has been great for me. I mean, that's a big reason why we stayed. Uh, the people here have been, been so great to me and, and, and my wife. And, you know, it's a good place to raise, to raise our kids. And, and um, yeah, coaching high school football was something I don't know that I, I, I would say I always dreamed to do, but I wanted to be close to the game of football and, and work with young people. And, and, and so it's a no brainer to be at a, at a place like Christian Academy and, and coaching football and being as close as I could be to the game without playing and, and getting beat up. So. Uh, yeah, I owe a lot to, to, to the University of Louisville and, and to the city.
How much do you still identify with this program, or how has your uh, identification changed? You know, a lot, lots happened since you left Bobby Lab, came back. How, how, how do you kind of feel about that? Yeah, you know, going through. Um, yeah, you know, it's cool that the coach you came back and that kind of thing, and because uh, you relate more and you have. Uh, I wouldn't say more access, but you can come around and feel more comfortable. And, and uh, so it's been cool. But yeah, I mean, ever since I left in, in 04, you know, you're in the uh, and all sports, not just football, all of them. So it's, it's been cool to follow them and watch them have a lot of success. As a former quarterback, what's, what's your thoughts on when you see what Lamar's doing out here for this program? I mean, he's outstanding. I mean, he's a great player. He's uh, it's fun to watch. He's explosive. I mean, he does, he, he's fun to watch. I mean, I, you can't ask for more than that. Um, you always feel like no matter who we're playing, we have a shot just because Lamar's back behind center. And uh, yeah, you appreciate everything that he does because it, it, it's not easy, but he makes it look easy. Um, he's a great talent.